a cargo ship with a fun and carefree crew, are on the return journey from their latest job. The navigator finds a shortcut and they all get into their hibernation pods for the trip. Everything seems fine until Captain Tom awakes sometime later to a system error, red warning lights, alarms, and zero gravity. They are at a repair facility in an unknown location. He turns on gravity and awakes his navigator Susie. A space-suited visitor arrives on the ship, revealing herself to be Greta, an old lover of Tom's. She tells them that there was a routing error that threw them light years off course and that they're now at some lucky station in the Skeeter sector. Susie is pretty upset and starts to collapse from surge tank sickness. They put her back in her hibernation tank while they figure things out. While the engineers check out the ship, Tom and Greta meet for drinks and catch up. They had a pretty wild fling back when they met and they still think about each other a lot. They have another wild night together. After which Greta reveals that Tom is further off course than she let on. He is actually 150,000 light years from Earth and while they only spent a few months asleep subjective time, because of relativity several hundred have passed back home. Even if he does make it back, it won't be the world he left behind. The same routing error brought her there brings everyone who ends up there. They wake up Susie to try to explain to her what's happened, but she sees Greta and freaks out. She screams at Tom that that is not Greta and attacks her. They give her a sedative and decide to try again with her later. But Tom realizes that Susie is right, it's not Greta. Tom is still in his tank and the station is a simulation being fed to him. Everything she told him was true, except that she and the station aren't what they seem. He demands to know the truth, but she knows he can't handle it yet. She's been through the same thing with countless lost souls. He insists to see and she lets him. He awakes in his tank, bony and malnourished with overgrown hair. The station is covered in this organic, membranous web-like growth. Greta greets him. Hello, Tom. But she is this gigantic, slimy, fleshy, spider-like creature. He screams. Then the simulation starts again, as Greta tries again to condition his mind to accept the truth. 